Hello friends, this is Durga from IT Varsity. IT Varsity is glad to announce a new course called as Data Engineering Essentials using SQL, Python and Spark. First, let me introduce about myself, then I will actually give you a brief introduction about the course. My name is Durga Gajraju. You can see my profile in Udemy or LinkedIn to understand more about me. I have more than 18 years of experience, primarily in data and uh, big data. I started my career as PL SQL developer, then transitioned myself into big data around seven, eight years back. Since then I am consulting and also training hundreds and thousands of uh, uh, resources in the data engineering uh, area. You can actually review my profile to understand more about it. Now with respect to the course, as part of this course, you will learn data engineering essentials related to building data pipelines using SQL, Python, as well as Spark. This is only essential course. The data engineering have matured quite a lot. You might have to pick additional skills at a later point in time, but this will lay the important foundation for you. That being said, let's talk about data engineering. Data engineering is nothing but processing the data depending upon our downstream needs. Now, what is this downstream? Let's assume that we are running a multi-brand online laptop retail store. We have laptops from HP, Dell, Apple and other brands too. We are selling the laptops on our e-commerce platform and also on Amazon as well as eBay. So there are three platforms on which we are selling the laptops. Now you want to see which platform is performing well, which brand is performing well within each brand, which laptop model is performing well. Understanding the performance of platform or a brand or a particular model is nothing but analytics or insights. We need to get analytics or insights on top of the data that is being generated on Amazon or eBay or on our platform. We cannot just go to the source systems and compare with others. It will be tough. One of the approach is we'll build something called as data lake. Data lake is nothing but downstream system here. Once we build the data lake, we get the data from platforms such as Amazon, eBay and our own website into our data lake in the form of batch pipelines or streaming pipelines. Batch pipelines are typically used to get the data once in a day or once every hour so and so forth. Streaming pipelines are typically used to get the data in real time. Building these batch pipelines and streaming pipelines comes under data engineering. All roles related to data processing are consolidated under data engineering today. Conventionally, they are also known as ETL development, data warehouse development, etc. But under data engineering, we typically does the same thing. Using data engineering with modern technologies will open up doors to actually get into advanced insights and uh, these uh, insights will help us taking key decisions for the betterment of the business. That's why data engineering is getting a lot of traction. As we have understood briefly about data engineering, now let's get into the course details. As part of this course, you will be learning data engineering essentials such as SQL, programming using Python and Spark. You can actually go through the detailed agenda here. First, you will be learning database essentials with SQL using Postgres. You will set up Postgres database. You will actually perform basic database operations such as insert, update, delete. You will also write basic SQL queries using uh, filtering, joins, aggregations, etc. You will be creating tables, indexes. You will also understand the concepts of partitioning, the functions that are available out of the box as part of Postgres. And also you will understand how to write advanced SQL queries, especially using analytic functions or window functions. All those database essentials are covered as part of this section or module. Once you learn about SQL using Postgres, then you will be spending quite a lot of time on programming using Python. Whatever that is covered as part of this course is primarily catering towards data engineering. Python is a very big programming language. We can build web or mobile applications as well. We'll not be getting into all those details here. We'll be only focusing on those aspects that are core to Python and also the skills that are required to become a successful data engineer using Python. Once you learn SQL and Python, then it is time for us to get into big data. First, you need to set up appropriate environment. You will be seeing how to set up a single node cluster using Hadoop and Spark and also you will learn how to interact with HDFS using important uh, HDFS commands. Once you go through this, then you will actually get into Spark. First, you will be going to Spark SQL, which will be similar to SQL using uh, Postgres. However, there will be some subtle differences. You will understand all the subtle differences when you actually go through this section or module. Once you go to Spark SQL, you will also end up spending time on Spark using data frame APS. It is called as PySpark. PySpark is nothing but Spark within Python. It is a library within Python where you will be able to code using Spark related APS. All those aspects will be covered as part of this section or module. As you got an overview about the course, now let's get into who the desired audience is. 